wished to speak about Sigrid. She was eager to receive you mere days ago. What has changed? Oh, don't pretend to be interested in my romantic life, brother. I am interested. And you are evading the question. What happened? Well, after you dropped me off at a longhouse the other night, Sigrid made a cowberry and hazelnut pudding. Of course, I don't eat anymore, so slightly awkward, but a lovely thought. Bad. Pretty much it, really. Hmm. There is more to this. <clears throat> what else happened that night between you and Sigrun? Well, we stayed up much too late. I told her stories, she told me secrets. She put spirits to my lips, even though I can't get drunk. Then she invited me to watch her fall asleep. Hmm. And the next morning? The next morning we took a boat along the Lake of Nine. It was divine, brother. The lake was sun-dappled and the air was crisp and perfect. You could smell the thaw. When did you misspeak? You know me too well. We were on the lake when I put my metaphorical foot in it. Hmm. Well, tell me, what happened between you and Sigrun on the lake? Well, she was rowing past where you found her family treasury. Where we learned she cursed her brother over forbidden love. That's right. And as we rode by, I remember feeling grateful the place was now deep underwater where she couldn't see it. And at that moment, she turned to me and she said, I think Mimir might be smitten with you. I think maybe I want to kiss you. Mm, indeed, brother. I mean, there's always been more to us than there's been the opportunity to explore. So much unspoken beneath the surface. But I had to name it so boldly, uh, it took me a bit off guard. You and Sigrun. I am still waiting for the part where you spoke. In my defense, I only told her the truth as it struck me in the moment. I told her my feelings for her were deep as Ram's Hall and had been for as long as I'd known her. But just then a kind of revelation came over me. A sudden cold clarity that it was vanity to imagine that I, as I am, could be enough for her as she is. So I heard myself tell her that I didn't think I could give her what she needed. Now, I have mad at you. Pile on, brother. I deserve it. <laughs>